The boss of Stellantis, who own the brand Alfa Romeo, has responded to China trying to buy the brand from Stellantis and to people within Stellantis telling Carlos that they should sell it to China because, well, they have too many brands and, well, we don't need them all. Just sell it off. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we already know that some companies, MG, for example, um, have been sold to Chinese conglomerates. I mean, essentially, Volvo has as well. And now the Chinese are trying to buy more brands. They've already purchased the company Lotus, the British brand Lotus. Um, now Stellantis are saying no to Chinese car manufacturers. We won't sell Ofa Romero. But this internal pressure on Stellantis's uh, CEO to actually make the decision to sell Alfa Romeo. I mean, it's a company that's a brand that's doing nothing. It's floundering. Uh, Alfa Romeo is essentially, to be honest, a dying brand. Carlos Tavares, the head of Stellantis, has said he has declined offers to sell Romeo to other companies, saying it's the greatest jewel within the group, even though the brand is really kind of, truthfully, it's dying in, in a similar way to Jaguar. They say the new generation Stelvio SUV is confirmed for a 2025 launch and that somehow that's going to miraculously revive the brand, followed by a new Julia sedan in 2026. Now, both of those are internal combustion, though. I don't really see much of a revival going on, to tell you the truth. Stellantis say that they will invest $5.5 billion in Italy um, building a gigafactory uh, to make batteries. And they will produce 15 new models in the country. Stellantis, they have a whole lot of brands, right? Um, a lot of people think too many. But the Automotive Group CEO says, um, no, hell no. We are never going to sell anything to China ever over my dead body. I mean, he's literally getting very emotional about this, actually. During the debut of the all-new Alfa Romeo Milano, the Italian marquee confirmed plans to unveil a next-generation Stelvio SUV in 2025. Carlos Tavares who is the CEO of Stellantis, revealed that both internal and external voices had pressured him to reduce the number of brands in the group's lineup. However, Tavares remains committed to keeping the brands and to, you know, um, basically getting the company through this really challenging disruption period where, you know, Chinese car manufacturers, Tesla, other brands are disrupting internal combustion. He went on to describe Alfa Romeo as the greatest jewel within Stellantis, emphasizing its its importance in the company. Now, I don't know about you, but here in Australia, Alfa Romeo is just irrelevant. I mean, no one talks about them. They're not desirable. Uh, the brand has lost its mystique. It did used to have it, but now it's just considered to be unreliable and really not desirable at all. So maybe maybe it has the same perception in other countries. I'm not too sure. What's What's the brand image like in your country? Tavares has disclosed that other companies had expressed interest in buying Alfa Romeo, but it only took him a second to decline the offers. Now, the weird thing is Tavares is acting as though he owns Stellantis. He doesn't. He's the CEO. But uh, it took him a second to decline the offers. I mean, wouldn't that be something the entire board would have to consider? Shareholders would have to consider? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it sounds like Tavares is almost like the Elon Musk of Stellantis. Tavares proudly stated that he won't be selling any Stellantis brands to the Chinese, criticizing the strategy followed by rivals in the automotive business. Those who bring Chinese automakers to Italy are on the same page with those who sold Volvo to Geely and MG to another Chinese car maker, Seik. Now, he said to another Chinese car maker because he couldn't remember the name of Seik. But anyway, the guy's bipolar, so that's okay. My friends, this is not going to happen with Stellantis. This is not going to happen with Alfa Romeo. He also dismissed reports about Stellantis abandoning Italy and dismantling Fiat as fake news. He confirmed the group will invest more than 5 billion euros, which is about 5.5 billion US dollars in Italy, including the construction of a battery gigafactory. So, I mean, will that happen? I mean, who's going to make the batteries? No one knows. Additionally, production of the internal combustion engine powered Fiat Panda and the Pomigliano Darco plant has been extended until 2030. I don't know how many 
internal combustion powered Fiat Pandas. Anyone's going to want to buy in 2028, 2029 or 2030. But anyway, the other crazy thing is the Fiat Panda, well, by 2030, it will be an 18 year old car. So yeah, I mean, I imagine the sales might be 10 or 20 a week. Before Carlos Tavares became the CEO of Stellantis, Alfa Romeo CEO, Jean Philippe Imparado outlined the brand's future plans. He confirmed the debut of the new generation Stelvio SUV in the second half of 2025, followed by the Julius sedan in 2026. Both those vehicles will use the STLA large architecture, which is relatively heavy from what I've seen so far. Now, Imperato believes the brand has a unique position in the global market. I'm not sure why that is. It's Italian, and there's not many Italian brands left, maybe. He pointed out that Alfa Romeo might be the only automaker in the world offering such a wide spectrum of vehicles. Um, from the stratospheric $2 million Stradale supercar, um, I think they sold uh, the 33 Stradale, I think there was, I don't know, 50 of those or something to the approachable $30,000 Milano subcompact SUV. Now, here's what the CEO said. I want to sell Alfa Romeo everywhere. Australia, Japan, Mexico. When you are ready to pay, I'm here, my friends. Well, honestly, people aren't ready to pay for Alfa Romeo. Um, they don't have any particularly compelling vehicles. That's the reason their sales have declined year over year now for numerous years. And it's the reason why the brand is no longer the famous marquee it once was. Now, Stellantis may believe it still is. Um, Carlos Tavares may believe it. And the CEO of Alfa Romeo clearly believes it. But um, honestly, I'd think they're losing touch with reality. 